Oh my god! <laughs> ah, he got him! <laughs> He's wrapping around me, holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! Kids, no! Don't do this at home. 100, 200, 300, 600. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's the Iguana Man. On today's video, we're gonna be catching egg-bearing female iguanas. Then we're gonna be traveling to the Everglades in hopes of catching the elusive Burmese python. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Let's see if we can get this big alpha female. That's a big girl. It's a big girl. Oh, she's strong. Oh my goodness. There she goes. There she goes. Come out that nest. Come out that nest, sweetheart. Wow. Wow. First iguana we caught was an alpha female with an estimated 50 eggs. We got us an alpha female. You are monstrous, look at this. Iguanas are invasive species with no natural predators and they multiply like rabbits. Probably the biggest female I've caught in all year. She is absolutely massive. Some serious girth right there. Look at her little forked tongue right there. Hey buddy, holy smokes. Guys, we got some good news, y'all. We got the alpha female in the bag. All right, y'all, so this is crazy right here. Apparently, somebody called the troll on me because I was iguana hunt. I bet you I know who it was, those stupid people out here on their scooter. It, like, they're trying to do tricks and stuff out here. They're just hating that I'm doing removal for my friend. Hey, what can I say, y'all? Some people that don't understand, they just hate. They ain't got nothing better to do than, you know, do that. Especially, you know, let the police come out here, waste their time, waste my time. Knowing, you know, what's going on in the world today and stuff, they're gonna go call us on on something so stupid. Idiots. I'm not even gonna run, right? Yeah, we got we got we got sneak up on him and hopefully he don't run as fast. Bait. Some bait. Hold on, let's see if we can get on. Hold up, hold up. I wanted to catch one right in front of her to let her know I'm using humane practices and I'm not threatening anybody else's well-being. Got him in the bag. No bait needed, y'all. Are free to go now? All right, thank you now. After doing our iguana removal maintenance services, it was time to get ready to go out in the Everglades to remove some invasive fish and possibly an invasive snake. Remember, both species are extremely elusive. What's going on, we got? Christian for the CNL family. What's up, Chris? And we got our guide for the night. Pedro. Mr. Pedro. We're supposed to be removing invasive catfish. All right, guys, the armored catfish to be exact. Chris, what's up with these armored catfish? Why are they so bad, bro? Because they're everywhere, bro. Look, show them where they're popping, bro. They're popping everywhere. It's a huge nest of them. And, and these fish are a big problem, guys, because what they're doing is they're burrowing along the, the sides of the canals, eating a lot of the native food, and there's nothing to really hunt them. There's no natural predators. So we're gonna try to fill this bucket up with as many of them as we can. Let's start catching these invasive catfish. The brown hopolo and the pleco are popular in aquariums, but now run wild in the Florida Everglades. That's a big one, though. You see what I'm saying? No, there's like five of them, bro, but they're huge. And these are really good ones to get, guys. These are the breeders. These fishes, they could actually live out of water for like two, three days. In drought conditions, they burrow underground. Got some more in the bag. Wow, that was a good cast, bro. That's like 10 of them in there. Just 10 in there? Yep. Before it, before it. <laughs> <laughs> and the beauty of this, guys, is we're, we're helping the ecosystem. Also, we can actually eat these. I'm down below if y'all want me to cook these. You can catch and cook on them. Yeah, these are huge. These are huge. These are bigger than the other ones, right? Yeah, way bigger. Whoa. Dang, I wish I would've got that pull up of all the fish that he just caught in this net. That is ridiculous right there. All them, oh my gosh. That right there is your personal best, right? Yeah. That, 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 that was a really good cast. Unfortunately, <laughs> the wrong species. These are native bluegill and will be returned back species. immediately. Imagine if that was with the armored catfish, bro. That'd be like a $50 cast right there. Well, that's a bluegill. Guys, comment down below what should we do with all these fish. This is just insane. Yep. Later, bro. Bye. You know them better than me. You know one that's this big. Bro. Look crappy. You just caught a crappy dude. It looks like a snook mixed with like a bluegill. Yeah, what the? 
guys. Lip him, lip him. Lip him. Bro, that is insane, bro. Go ahead. Yeah! Oh my gosh. For some reason or another, the invasive fish removal was kind of slow. So we decided to pack it up, go fishing for bass, and see what other things we can find on the levee. Oh my gosh. That's a pig, bro. Oh, he just broke the line. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Holy crap. That's a straight bucket mouth, dude. Probably the biggest bass I've seen to date. Oh my gosh, that's probably the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life, dude. Oh. I eat my fish, so that's pretty big. That's a monster, bro. How much do you think he weighs, bro? Probably six, seven pounds. Oh my god. We just weighed him. He's almost nine freaking pounds, dude. Bro, congrats, man. Nine pound freaking beast. I didn't know. Oh, oh my god. Guys, it's not every day you come out and you, and you catch a, a, a bass of this size. Look at, the, oh my gosh, look at the bucket mouth. Well, there she goes. Guys, we just spotted a python. Come here. Bro, he's big too, bro. Right there you go. Burmese python right there. I thought I was kidding. He's in there? Yeah. Burmese pythons are invasive species and are one of the supreme predators now out in the Everglades, competing with natural wildlife and the top predators as the alligators. He was in a crevice, so we decided to make a handmade snare and try to put it around his body. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's coming out. Oh my god, dude. Oh my gosh. Quite a look. Oh, I see him. I see him. Holy crap. These snakes can grow up to 20 feet and are pure muscle and teeth. Dude, you are a legend, bro. Just make sure and get his head. You know that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's got him. He's got him. That's a python, buddy. Yo, we just got this python out the thing. Shout out to our guide, Pedro. We're really fortunate to get this snake. He could have easily slid away and would never be seen again by humans. Bro, that is insane, bro. You're a goat, dude. Guys, he's climbing out the thing with the python in hand. Oh my God. <laughs> he got him. Bro, you're a goat. Watch out, dude. What the? There's barbed wire, dude. <laughs> my dog my dog oh my gosh chris i'm so sorry chris you had to leave <laughs> but we pro i promised you a python here it is buddy oh my goodness bro. unfortunately our friend chris had to leave early but this snake was captured 2 a.m in the middle of nowhere in the florida everglades guys first ever python caught on the iguana man <laughs> kind of stinks, huh? Yeah, and I just swallowed a fly, dude. Oh, I just swallowed a fly. <laughs> the Burmese python is an invasive species introduced in the Florida Everglades via the pet trade and storms we've had in the past destroying snake habitats. There's an estimated 100,000 Burmese python wild in Florida. Unfortunately, these snakes are eating a lot of the native animals, masters of camouflage, no natural predators, and also have clutches up to 30 babies. I mean, first we were doing invasive fish removal. I'm six foot, bro. He <laughs> didn't think that we would be doing invasive snake removal too, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is an apex predator and they're multiplying way faster than we're catching them. If you ever see a Burmese python in the wild, do not ever attempt to capture it. Take a picture and report it to FWC. Oh my gosh. Look at those freaking teeth. Hold them still for a second. Let me show the viewers at home at the freaking dental work of this freaking oh my gosh look at all those backwards facing teeth right there how to get them out man how to do what we had to do listen we got them in the bag guys yo pedro our boss is gonna be so happy not only did we catch the invasive fish but we got a little bonus y'all we got us a python python that's three feet long that's two hundred dollars you turn it into the state but since this guy is like seven eight it's gonna be $50 
per additional foot. So we're gonna do the math, but I think it's gonna be about a good, maybe four or $500 snake right here. Guys, we're gonna try to get an official measurement of this snake. Six foot. Seven foot. Oh my gosh, bro. He is seven, he's 7'10", bro. Almost an eight foot snake. We just caught out the Everglades, y'all. Remove the invasive species out here in Florida and most definitely the Everglades guys. Holy crap. No freaking way, bro. He went inside the car. No freaking way, dude. Guys, we just left this snake alone for five minutes and he's already halfway up in the car. It's pissed, he just turned around. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he freaking came back, bro. You were right, bro. He's wrapping around me, holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. Me, no. Dude, are you kidding me? Kids. No. Don't do this at home. Come here. We got you, bro. It's the law. All right, y'all. Guys, if ever you catch a Burmese python, make sure you kill it on spot. As you guys can see, he was really tired. He came back to life. All right, y'all. It's time to teach this thing a fat lesson. That's, oh, your, snap. That's, that's your share right there. Boss man came through in the clutch. Yes, sir. 100, 200. 300, 400, 500, 600. <laughs> 700. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That's, that's for Yo. you, dude. That's for you, dog. That's for Yo. you, man. Bro, so. Back roll, back hey. roll. Hey, hey, hey. Back roll. Don't spend it all in one place, all right, man? But we do have a lot more invasive species to catch and a lot more money to make. Guys, we're out here removing invasive species and we're, oh. it's dangerous, but you know what? It's right here, bag so, roll. Sometimes it's worth the risk, y'all. Look at that right there. Bag roll, bag roll. <laughs> Fortunately, the snake had to be humanely euthanized. That is how invasive Burmese pythons are in the Everglades. They devastate a lot of natural resources. Hope you guys enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe.